sing about the Christmas on its way. A reason to hang around. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Vlogmas number two. I know it's a little bit delayed and I'm really sorry. I feel like even the people that are weekly vlogmasing are like on number two or three by now. But yeah, I've just been a little bit slow with it. But don't worry, there's gonna be lots more vlogs on the approach to Christmas. So this vlog is super, super cute. I'm heading down to London with Holly this week. And we're gonna go for some food. I think we might do some shopping as well. Just some cute little bits and pieces. And then I'm also gonna be making some mulled wine as well all the ingredients to make mulled wine which I can't wait to try I've never made it before but it's just something I've like I feel like it's on my bucket list of things I need to do like my Christmas bucket list this year so that is what I'm going to do and yeah I don't really know what else I think it might just be a cute vlog I might go to the garden center with my mum if not I might do that next week depending on like our availability and stuff like that also guys in the new year I'm going to be doing more home vlogs because I keep getting asked like when are you doing home improvement videos and I haven't done one in a while um, just because we haven't done much to the house but we are going to be doing more next year I think we're getting the bathroom done which is obviously like a big thing and then we're going to do some different things DIY on a budget ourselves as well so I'm really looking forward to bringing you more home updates something actually which you guys I don't know if I told you or not but my underfloor heating in my kitchen now half of it is broken it was here before we moved in by the way Half of it's broken and you literally would have to have all the tiles ripped up to have it looked at, which is really annoying. And last year I left the underfloor heating on and the bill was extortionate, guys. I'm talking over a thousand pounds just from having the underfloor heating on for about two weeks straight, which I know is a long time. But honestly, ever since then, I have been scarred and just scared to put that underfloor heating back on because it doesn't even heat the kitchen up because half it's broken and it's just extortionate. So a brand called Phoenix actually reached out to me and they have radiators. I don't know if you can see the little baby in the back there. And I was like, oh my God, like, you know when things happen at the right time, it's like, that was obviously meant to be because I'm so cold in the kitchen. I've been like wearing my dressing gown, being all freezing. And then a radiator brand reached out to me. Like it was just meant to be, you know? So since having this, I'm actually now just wearing cute clothes. Like, look at me guys, actually in something that isn't long sleeve. Because it's gonna be cute to have people around at Christmas time and this kitchen's quite big and we've got the island so it's nice to host in here and just to chill in here whilst you're cooking. And I can actually wear cute glam clothes inside now and be fashionable instead of just wearing like a dressing gown all the time and just looking like a scruff every single time I'm in the kitchen. So I'm really looking forward to just allowing that warm, lovely heat to make me feel nice and actually be able to dress nice for once. So I am partnering with them on this part of the video as well. So thank you for sponsoring it. But honestly, guys, it's something that I've needed and want and have loved. So I want to give you just some facts about it and let you know in case it's something that you are interested in. So they have something called the Volcano Fast Heating Tech and it basically allows the room to heat up evenly, warmly and everyone to enjoy that cozy vibes in the room, which is great. So this radiator back here, as you can see, I will do close ups. This one is a 13 piece radiator and it can heat a room up to 25 meters squared. Then I also have a smaller one, which I'll show and that can heat a room up to 80 meters squared. So literally big, big rooms can be filled and made really warm with these radiators. They're super efficient as well in terms of electricity and the cost to run them which is really important to me like I say because of the overheads of running this room and keeping it hot another thing they have is that they have a smart consistent temperature control and that just helps to maintain the heat in the room but with less energy consumption so again helping to save those pennies <laughs> so something great about it guys is it has handles so once it's on you can still move it around it has little wheelie bits in the bottom so you can move it around the room and it has safety features too so if it was to tip over for whatever reason it will shut off and turn off so there's nothing to worry about in that sense it is an oil filled radiator, so it's completely sealed in, so there's no issues with leakage or anything like that. The oil never needs refilling, and it's a high quality oil as well. So, in terms of a radiator, if you're looking for something portable, I don't know what you might need it for, but you might have a room like mine in this kitchen, or you might just have a room that the radiators take ages to heat up, and you just don't find the rooms cozy and warm and toasty that you want to enjoy this festive period, then definitely have a look at them. I'll leave all the information in my description box down below for you guys to shop. So yeah, that is all for today really guys. I haven't really got much going on just because I've done a load of filming for YouTube. I'm quite tired now. I need to make some dinner. It's getting a bit dark outside as you can see. So I think I'm just going to have a nice chilled one tonight. And then maybe tomorrow we will make the mulled wine, which will be exciting. Um, yeah, I can't wait to do that actually. And what else? Yeah, that's probably what I have to say for today. But I will see you guys tomorrow. Mwah! Good evening guys. So tonight I'm gonna to be making some mulled wine and then I'm also gonna be making a mini roast beef joint and some mash, some red wine dew, I think it's called, and some vegetables. So I thought I would share the experience with you guys. So to start with, I'm gonna be putting these beef joints in the oven. 
These are from Muscle Food. Um, I have worked with them previously, not on this video. But yeah, these are 400 grams each. I'm doing two. Probably won't have one each, because still a lot of meat, but I thought I'd do both of them now, and then we can always have them tomorrow. Fun fact, I've actually only tried roast beef the first time last weekend, and I really liked it, so now I'm making it myself. So yeah, I'm literally gonna pop this in the oven now on 170 for about an hour. I'm hoping that it works. I haven't put anything else in it. But yeah, we're just gonna go with it. So I'm gonna pop that in the oven now, set the hour timer, and then we can start making the mulled wine. Let's pop this in here. I'm gonna put it on the top shelf. No, I'm gonna put it on the middle shelf because I don't want it to dry out and get all horrible. So let's set the timer. Then I can tell you guys what you need for the mulled wine. So I've never made mulled wine before. So this is my first time. So I'm hoping that it turns out okay. So I am using a recipe online and it's on the winemag.com website. So it says you're gonna need two oranges. You're also gonna need two bottles of wine. So I've got one of them from Aldi. This was actually five pounds. And then I've also got the Barefoot Malbec wine as well, which is about six or seven pounds, super inexpensive. You're also gonna need half a cup of sugar, two cinnamon sticks. So I've just got these cinnamon sticks, which I picked up in Aldi. You can get them from any supermarket. You're also going to need 12 allspice berries, but I don't have those. And it actually says you can substitute them for 12 cloves. So I've got these whole cloves as well. Then it says four whole star anise seeds, which I've got those too. And then it does say one teaspoon of black peppercorns. I don't have black peppercorns, so I'm not going to be doing that. I don't know how I feel about that either. And then half a cup of brandy too. So I've got my brandy here. And then finally, whole nutmeg grated. Now I haven't got a whole nutmeg, but I have got nutmeg powder. So I might pop a little bit of that in there as well. It says, use a vegetable peeler to carve large ribbons of peel from the orange. You know what? I think I'm just gonna speed it up. So guys, you've got to wait 20 minutes for the mulled wine. So I actually only put one cup of wine in and then in 20 minutes time, once it's all done its thing, you pop the rest of the wine in and the brandy. So we're gonna do that in 20 minutes time. So for now, we're just gonna prep the potatoes. I'm just gonna do a simple garlic mash. And then I'm gonna start making the red wine juice, which I've never made before. So we can see how it goes. It's really difficult because I keep moving the camera up and down, up and down on my stand. So sorry, you're probably just gonna see the food for most of this. And I can, I'll probably talk you through what I'm doing actually for the red wine juice because I've never made it before. And you guys might wanna try it along with me. Who knows? But first off, we're gonna prep the potatoes. And I actually leave the skin on. I don't know if you guys will find that gross or if you do that as well, but I've, I have scrubbed them so they're nice and clean. I do like to leave the skin on when I'm making mashed potatoes. I just feel like it adds, oh look, a little bit of carrot there. But yeah, I just feel like it adds a bit more, I don't know, texture I guess. I don't know how to explain it, but I really, really like it. I actually do have some curly kale, which I could potentially mix with the mash as well. Wow, look at this big old beast. This is a huge potato. So guys, I'm really hoping you can hear me okay, because it is quite noisy in here where we've got everything boiling and cooking at the same time. But it says to start off by cooking a onion that's diced. So I actually have frozen onion, so I'm gonna do that instead. I'm shouting quite a lot, so I'm hoping that you can hear me. So I'm gonna pop a little bit of olive oil in there like so. Turn the heat up on that. And then my trusty diced frozen onion. Pop about a whole onion's worth in there. We're gonna fry that off. Okay hey guys, so now I'm adding 50 grams of light brown sugar. I've got it all measured out here. Jordan's um, dad actually measured this out for me because I was around there talking to him about making this earlier on and I didn't have any. Thank you so much for that. I'm gonna pop that in there. And then we're just gonna simply stir that together. 
So basically, you're meant to leave this to boil for a minute or two, and then you pour in 300 ml of red wine. So yeah, just gonna stir that, keep that moving for a minute. Basically, all we're going to do now is leave this to boil for around 10 minutes until the wine starts to reduce down. Then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so 10 minutes have passed and it's thickened right up. So the next step is to add 300 ml of beef stock. So it does say that you can use chicken stock as well, but I've gone for beef stock. These are the Nor, oh my hand's shaking, the Nor stock cubes. And I've just put that with hot water, so I'm adding that in there. And then it also says to stir in two tablespoons of cranberry sauce as well or it can be red currant jam so i've got red currant jam then it literally just says to stir this all together let it come to a boil again and let this reduce by half also guys the mold wine is almost done i have popped in the brandy i didn't show you it but i popped in half a cup of brandy and then the rest of the red wine bottles i also actually sprinkled in a bit of cinnamon like just ground cinnamon and i also sprinkled in more sugar but just because i felt it was a little bit bitter so i'm letting that come to a boil again and then we can try it out Smells good though, guys. The brandy has made it really, really strong. I'm walking around making small talk with people that pass me by. I share a laugh, it gives me joy that everyone's having a good, good time. I hear the jingle bells, people singing about love. So guys, the beef has been on for an hour, but it just, it's quite pink in the middle and I'm not eating it, it's pink. So I probably should have slow roasted it, but I didn't know about this because I am a new to beef cooking person. So I'm leaving the beef on for longer. I've turned the heat down. The mash is done, the dew is done. So I'm just gonna leave it on the side, can reheat them. The mulled wine is also done. And I've got a bottle here to give to our next door neighbors because they're so lovely. And they always take in my parcels and things like that if I'm not here and I feel really bad. And yeah, I just wanted to bring them a little something round. And then I've also got this huge jug of it for Jordan's parents because they live just around the corner. My parents don't live around the corner. They live quite far away from, well, I say far, it's like 35, 40 minutes away. So otherwise I'll be doing them some as well. But yeah, I've tried it. It's really nice. It is a bit strong, guys, with that brandy. Let me tell you that. Yeah, it's got a lot of heat to it. Like, you know, like warmth where the brandy is in it. So hopefully it doesn't get anyone too drunk. <laughs> but I don't think I'm going to be drinking it. Like, I just wanted to make it to try it out, to have some fun. I'm going to give it to the people that actually will like it more than me because I don't need the extra calories and stuff like that tonight, especially with my dinner. So yeah, we'll go give it away and I'll be back when I dish dinner up. It feels like I'm a kid, like I'm forever young. That's why I want to sing about the Christmas on its way. A reason to hang around and celebrate this day. Everyone's smiling and it's snowing. It's the time of year again. I'm happy you hear my winter wonderland. So guys, here's the beef. I did really struggle to cut that up. I definitely need a proper like carving fork and knife and stuff. Did just try a little bit and it was actually quite nice though. Probably a bit too chewy for the normal person, but I just can't stand like the blood. So, you know, I'm getting into beef. So I need to eat it like this, start off. But yeah, here it is. The gravy I've tried, it tastes really good. I also did some carrots roasted with the beef at the same time. And then there is the mash. So guys, there is someone next door to me, next door to me, like in the car park. Um, so I'm probably gonna think I'm an absolute freak talking to my camera because people still don't seem to understand in this day and age what YouTube is. But anyway, it is, what day is this day? It's Monday today, it's my day off work. And I have taken myself down to Chelmsford. If you're in Essex, you'll know Chelmsford. I'm at Bond Street Car Park. Probably should hurry up actually because I've just paid for my ticket. And I don't know how long you actually get before you need to put it in the thing. I think they normally give you about five minutes, don't they? But yeah, I've just been to Primark. I've done loads of shopping, did some returns, got a load of new stuff as well. So I'm excited to share that vlog with you. Um, probably, it might even be up before this vlog to be fair because yeah, I, th I think it will be actually. It might even be my next upload. So you've probably already seen that by now. But there were some really nice bits in the new in stuff, like party stuff just general Christmassy bits and pieces as well so yeah I'm excited about that and I've got loads of stuff to do a haul as well you can see the little bag in the background um so I don't know when to film that guys because I've got such a busy week this week so Wednesday this week so it's Monday today tomorrow obviously I've got work and also my parents coming around on my lunch break Wednesday I've got to go into the office and then after work I'm meeting a friend for dinner a friend that I used to work with at my last job and then Thursday 
is just you know working from home Friday oh to be fair I got Thursday and Friday evening but then Saturday I'm back in London <laughs> with my friend Holly and then Monday next week I'm going to the garden centre with my mum so I've got a lot on at the minute so I just feel a little bit overwhelmed and like not exactly sure where I'm going to fit certain things in because I can't really film next weekend on Monday um normally I'd film over the weekends on Monday but I'm so busy so I'm gonna have to try and fit in a Primark haul one evening this week maybe I don't know I don't really like filming at night time though so because it's so dull so so I don't know I'm sure I'll figure it out anyway but yeah that is my day today I'm gonna be heading off to B&M in a second as well just to do the same thing come and shop with me video and maybe pick out some bits and pieces I don't know whether to stop there I might go to home bargains as well and do the same but I'm not sure I'll see how I feel because I'm already feeling a little bit tired I've had quite a like full-on morning um I worked out then I did the cross trainer then I went for a walk um then I did some filming so I've yeah I feel like I've done quite a lot today already so you know you're just a bit like oh my god I'm tired like I just want to relax so I'll see how I feel what time is it though I feel like we're doing quite good for time today oh quarter to three I thought I thought it was only like half one so okay the day is getting on then quite quickly so yeah probably won't be too much more to film today really so I thought I'd just check in and let you know kind of my weekly plan um but these like vlogmasy style vlogs I'm doing at the minute I'm just trying to keep them quite fun and like show you you know just like cute things really like day-to-day -day stuff's a bit boring um we can we can have that after in the new year but these vlogs are meant to be a bit more fun filled and action-packed <laughs> so guys it's wednesday today i'm literally just about to leave for work so i've slicked my hair back again i feel like it's just so simple doing this out the way and with a roll neck laura taught me this trick like because i don't really like wearing roll necks i just feel like it gets rid of my neck uh, i don't know i just don't like how it looks um anyway she said if you slick your hair back it kind of helps because obviously you're pulling your hair back and then you can see more of your face so now i've done that here's my makeup i'm in work today and this is what i'm wearing so it's a dress from boohoo it's just a roll neck dress a black tights on and then i've got these boots which are from zara they're like rubberized chelsea boots going for dinner tonight so i'll see you guys later hey guys happy saturday so today is the day i go to london um quite a few days have passed actually since i last picked up the camera but i've just been working all week so there's actually no point in bothering to show you so here is my outfit of the day excuse the parcels in the background there for Jordan's birthday so I've got these boots on from Misguided I am obsessed with these guys they're really chunky not something I'd ever see myself wearing but because I'm so short I feel like they really help like elongate my legs then I've got these River Island leather coated jeans on Gucci mini Marmont and then this is an aviator cream jacket from Boohoo and I really really like it I'm just gonna take this off and show you what is underneath so this is the famous Primark jacket, which I feel like everyone has at the minute. So I got this one in a size 12. It's a little bit oversized, which is actually really nice. It's really comfortable. And yeah, I just feel nice in this. It's a lovely stone color. It's like the perfect color. I've never worn a cropped blazer before, guys. And I am feeling it, I tell you that. So yeah, I've been really into like chucking on a jacket underneath the jacket to keep you warm and to give you two looks in one. I just feel like it works really well. And this one is really cute. I think it's really sweet. So we're going for some brunch today. We're going to the Ivy in canary wharf and then we're also just going to do a little bit of shopping like mooch around stuff like that i've slicked my hair back because it is due to rain today so instead of having hair that's just going to go all frizzy and awful i thought i would slick it back and hope for the best but yeah that is my little outfit of the day i'm heading off in a second it is 11 o'clock at the minute and it's, i think it's going to be more of like a daytime thing not so much an evening thing which just means i can have like a nice chill weekend but i think we might be going to like a cute bar on our way home as well near liverpool street because i found a really sweet one so hopefully it has availability if not i'm sure we'll find somewhere else yeah i'm looking forward to it so i'll bring you along with me of course so guys we just got to canary wharf with holly hello it's been a little while since she's been on my channel Hi. um we haven't seen each other in ages. Actually, the last time was when, when you guys... Was the last time? When we went um, for drinks before you moved. You know, the Turkish... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, but yeah, we're just in Canary Wharf. We're going to the Ivy for... Just trying to find our way round. Yeah. Like Canary Wharf is like one big circle. Mm. And it just all looks the same. It's very businessy here, guys. Look. The Barclays building up there. And then there's also a shopping mall. So we're going to go there before... I think because I need to get some hairspray because my hair is like flying away everywhere and I think we might go there after as well and then yeah I don't know what the day will be like to be honest we might go for some drinks at some point but we'll just go with it and see what we want to do the it's weather's nice over there. oh is there yeah I think this goes up around Christmas time it's only temporary oh oh you know that one at the Natural History Museum everyone looks at oh uh, yeah, yeah. that looks really nice some pictures and stuff that's more central though. the weather's all right guys today because it was meant to rain but so far it's holding out which is good 
and the trains today were awful honestly it was so busy every single seat was taken up and there was just so many people like standing i felt really anxious which i feel like everyone's coming up here for like well, especially with this wonderland mm. the ice skating rings So we're both going for this passion spritz. So it's um, fruity fizz, aperol, sky passion, vodka, and prosecco. So that sounds really nice. Aperol sometimes gives me a stomach ache actually when I have like, you know, a proper aperol. Yeah, like when I have them. Um, have you ever had an aperol spritz? I have. Yeah, but it's I very thought it strong. It's going to be really it? sweet. Like, yeah. It's actually quite bitter. I tried it once in Barcelona, but when you look at it, you think, oh my god, that's so fruity. Mm. Or you, I don't know, you just, it looks sweet. It is, um, it is and like when I tried it, I was like, oh, well, <laughs> what I was expecting. <laughs> No, definitely. Getting hydrated as well. So guys, our cocktails are here. Here it is. It is still a little bit bitter, like Aperol, but it's, it definitely takes the edge off it. So yeah, here it is. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> that was too early. <laughs> So guys, we've gone for the truffle and mushroom pasta. Normally I go for meat actually, but it's really fancy truffle again. Looks really good. Mom, I've gone for the same. <laughs> well, I always do that with people. Yeah. So I feel like I get um, worried that theirs is going to be nice and I'll I mean, regret I it. Looked up the men I looked up the menu a whole week yeah. off, whenever we decided to go. So guys, we're just... Oh. We're just in the bar from having a quick break. I'm actually like kneeling down so you can see me. I'm just popped you on the like, what is this called? <laughs> Whatever it's called, the little shelf. Um, but yeah, the food was really, really nice. The portion wasn't the biggest, but I'm not like annoyed about it because it's it's 20 to four. So we thought we might kind of go and have a little wander around Bond Street area. Um, Want to get a cute picture of our outfits there potentially before it gets too dark. Probably is dark time we leave though to be fair. And then, yeah, we might find a cute bar there and then maybe get some dinner later. So I feel like I'm in a good place. I come full, but I'm not, I've, there's still room there if I wanted to eat more, um, which is always good when you're in London because there's always, you know, so many places to go to eat. We've been looking on TikTok actually and I feel like I get a bit overwhelmed with London because mm. so many places to go. It's like, where do yeah. you go for food? So, yeah, but luckily well, there's so, like, it's easy to get to places. Definitely. To. Yeah, yeah. So um, we're just going to go there, have a wonder, see what we find and then... Go from there really here's what holly's wearing just a little shiny. cream look these joggers are from the sale five so pounds seven. guys yeah, i'm sure they were five or if they weren't five they were ten yeah so so good that's a really really good buy comfy boots a primark jumper which is really nice and thick and a primark bag and I don't know if I said H&M shackle. No, no, you didn't, no. <laughs> yeah and yeah one for the cream vibes harry was like you look a bit summery he was like, you need a bit of brown. I was like, no, oh, I, really, I love I don't really cream have look. much brown. So I've gone for like all kind of neutral really nice. creams. <laughs> so guys, <laughs> it is cold <laughs> and it's very windy and it's raining. So we've got and Holly's umbrella. This umbrella is going to blow inside out. <laughs> it's like my worst nightmare. And I'm, Why like, though? Walking. I don't know because it's is embarrassing. It? Yeah, it's like, yeah. I think you have to stand there and try and get, get it back. <laughs> and I just think I look like a right tit if I do oh, that. Oh God. We walk into the um, underground now. Oh my god! I'm being brave again, guys, because you know how much I don't like the underground. But I'm actually okay. I feel like my fear is going yeah. with a lot of things. You, you were right coming here. Wasn't yeah. You? I feel like my biggest tip actually for fears <laughs> is just don't let things stop you living. Yeah. Like if you're scared of something, try and overcome it and just force yourself to do it. The also, more you do like, it, what's fine. What what worries you about being on the underground? If, I don't want to say the word, but the B word. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not so, I don't particularly like it because I feel a bit claustrophobic, but it's not really that. It is, I just think, oh my god, something's going to happen. Yeah. And I think what triggered that was all the things that happened, you know, at the Iron Brown yeah, concert. Yeah, yeah. Not that I was there or anything like that, but. I know, it's just a big risk going anywhere, isn't it? But you can't stop things living, you, like, exactly. living your life. And I just try and put it in perspective and think, you know, I drive to work, like, oh, I'm on. Why are you having it over you? I'm sorry. putting it in front of us because it's blowing. Um, oh, my. Yeah, like, you know, the amount of times we've been on the A12, well, they're not going to know what the A12 is, but this motorway <laughs> and like oh, lorries. Some of them might. Yeah. Like, if you guys live um, near Colchester, you'll know how bad that road is. 
and yeah and like there's crashes on it all the time and you just got to weigh out the risks versus yeah how many thousands of like underground <laughs> things there are a day and everyone's going to be fine oh i just slid it then <laughs> right put the camera away before we have an accident <laughs> so guys we've just been walking around we found this place so Zola, i think it's called um that's right um so it looks really cute it's actually quite a big restaurant you've got outside seating and inside it's an italian and this is near bond street so yeah it's quite cute i think we're gonna sit outside it is raining but it's all good we've got heaters so guys we're in the restaurant i just showed you called isola this is what it looks like if you want to come down here the prices seem really good so um yeah if you want somewhere like relatively affordable for london then definitely come down here but it actually looks quite posh as well inside's really cute it's like quite traditional italian um and it's just so nice outside we wanted to sit out here it is raining but it's actually quite cozy so we've got the heaters we've got blankets and yeah it's just it's nice out here they were kind of saying to us that there wasn't any seats outside but we thought oh there is lots because like this whole side is um, completely empty um so we waited went to the toilets waited for like i think it was a manager or something that had to like say if it was okay and they thought we were going to get wet but we're absolutely fine we're not fussy people so we're happy hit sitting here so yeah we're going to get a cocktail now just have a look at their signature menu there's one on here that says um amaretto Santoni, I don't know what Santoni is. Raspberry puree, prosecco, and soda. That one sounds quite nice. What's another one? Grey goose vanilla, pessoa, lemon juice, orange, and apple juice. That could be quite nice. It sounds quite similar to corn star but with apple juice. So that they're probably my two that I'll pick from. So guys, here is my cocktail. I was not expecting it to come out with cream on it. I have to say, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Holly's gone for this, which we thought would be sweet because it's raspberry and prosecco and a few other things. But she said it's really bitter. Do you know what I think is making it a bit bitter? What? I think it said it had soda. Oh. I think it's soda like a bit bittery. Maybe, yeah. yeah. You can always ask us to put more puree in it. If you yeah. really don't like maybe it. I should stir it. Maybe oh, it's yeah, all maybe. kind of like at the bottom. Yeah. I'll give it a stir. I just asked if I could have a straw and he said no. And he said you've got to drink it like this. So I don't know if he's joking or not. I mean look, how am I meant to drink this? It's all gonna go in my face. He can't he's gotta give me a straw, but he hasn't come back with one. I thought he was joking, but he genuinely has not come back with a straw. I'm going to ask him for a lamp straw because I'm not drinking it like this. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I'm literally going to have a face full of cream. <laughs> Guys. Okay, Because they didn't let me know. So guys, basically we booked to go to a Mexican and then, so the underground station, we didn't know about this, but the um, central line is striking tonight, so it's basically affecting lo loads of other lines. So what was the line we got before? It was the Jubilee. So we were, yeah, then we were thinking, oh, we could get the Jubilee line anyway. That's absolutely rammed. It's like sardines under there, honestly. It was just ridiculous. And then we went to a different station and then you couldn't even get on the underground, like everyone was queuing outside basically. So we've just decided to scrap that. So back to where we started which is where you last saw us anyway um, luckily they had a table free so we've just ordered some pizza um, and then we've also gone for a strawberry prosecco it's just literally prosecco with strawberry puree it's really nice yeah it's much better than what we had before because the last thing I had it's still like it's still prosecco really like it's, which is you know prosecco isn't the nicest drink is it but it's the only thing I really have like close to wine but um yeah the last cocktail I had I wasn't a massive fan of I can't lie with that I think the cream like, upset my stomach a little bit my stomach's a little bit sore now so yeah but anyway we're having our pizza in a second and it's nice it's like cold but you've got a little pizza it's cute around here so guys here is the pizza this one has I don't know how you say this, bruschetta? No, that's not it, <laughs> that's bruschetta. I don't know what it's called anyway. It's got that ham on it and a rocket as well. So guys, a few days has passed since I went to London. As you can see, I've just got back from a walk. I'm a little bit windswept at the minute. Um, this puffer coat, honestly, it's from Boohoo and I love it so much. It's literally like wearing a duvet. It's so long, it's so warm and cozy. And yeah, I literally um, kept so warm on my walks wearing this, it's great. But anyway, um, I think I'm going to wrap up the vlog here just because I want to get this video up. I'm conscious that like, yeah, vlog was number two should have gone up by now. So I'm going to edit this video tonight and get it up for you as soon as possible. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know if there's anything particular you recommend I bake or make like on the approach to Christmas because I'm trying to do something each week just to have a little bit of fun really and experiment with new recipes. Let me know if you try the mulled wine as well and if you like it, honestly, maybe try and ease off on that brandy because it was really, really, really strong guys. 
But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love for you to stick around for future content. And I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.